Rivers are truly remarkable places, capable of delivering astonishing moments and wreaking havoc in equal measure. They offer a unique blend of strange creatures, captivating encounters, and hidden monsters, all mingling with fascinating sights that promise a never-ending stream of surprises. Join us on this journey to uncover and delve deeper into the myriad mysteries that rivers conceal within their depths. The Giant River Monster Back in Texas 2022, this couple of anglers were out fishing in hopes to find something worth getting on the reel. After hours of wait and struggle, they managed to reel in the magnificent and rare species of fish that gave them a wonderful thrill. It was a giant alligator gar, which was bigger than the size of the angler. Oh, did you get that? Tum? Look at those sharp teeth and the huge mouth. This is the reason they are one of the most favorite of the anglers. Alligator gars don't attack humans and are not that dangerous, unless someone barges into their territory, at which point they may use their teeth then. However, the one these anglers had caught was even lengthier than seven feet, and after taking its measurements, they released it back into the water. Giant Salamander This one dates back to 2016 in Japan. Believe me, it's as dangerous as it looks, and also happens to be a bit too slippery to catch. Just look at its huge mouth and how aggressively it's trying to get out of the man's hold making constant attempts to bite him with its brutal teeth. You can't expect them to be any different on land. Any kind of environment is a home to them, and they are equally aggressive everywhere. Japanese giant salamanders are also the third largest in the world, growing to a height of five feet. This amphibian is also known as the living dinosaur because it has existed for more than a million years, and its appearance hasn't changed at all. Legendary Monster The carcass of the legendary monster from American folklore had been floating around in Paraguay, but no one noticed it. Until April 2023 when it decomposed, it was then they realized what it could be. Chupacabra is said to be related to the vampire, as it is reported to attack and drink the blood of livestock. The remains of this creature were floating on the edge of the river in Paraguay but scientists didn't confirm if it was a real chupacabra, as on its animal-like body, it had the hands of a human. Researchers were called to take away the carcass of this strange animal to investigate. However, whether it was an actual chupacabra or some other outworldly creature, scientists didn't make any statement about it. Monstrous-sized fish what might look like a river with no notable activity can bring a lot of surprises, and these experienced fishermen knew that. So they set out on a hunt back in August 2023 to show what such calm rivers of Houston, Texas are capable of. After a while of waiting with their fishing hook in the water to catch a remarkable fish, what actually took the bait left them thrilled. Yeah, they had expected something great, but a living fossil fish? Look at, this Look at these beasts! Considering the fact that those gars are extremely rare and are only seen once a year, this was a really amazing catch! As these fish are endangered and very few are left alive, these anglers released it after taking its measurements and playing around with it. Stingray in Labor After a great struggle, these anglers were able to catch a stingray! Yeah. It's good, you lit. Good, good, big monster! And not just any stingray, but a huge stingray. She was about six feet in size and roughly weighed 400 pounds. She was not the largest of its kind, but was indeed unusually huge. While they were focused on taking its measurements, they didn't notice that she was in labor at that time. And while she was caught in the net, two live baby stingrays came out of it. However, a lot of people expect a stingray to lay eggs as most fish do, but stingrays follow sharks in this case and give live birth to their babies. Devil Catfish 
After hours of roaming around in the Indian River, this guy spotted a rare species of fish. Catching it was another challenge, as the fish went with the flow of water in order to save itself. But apparently, this angler was determined to catch it, so he jumped in the water to swim toward the fish. Finally, the fish came near the bank, making it easy for them to catch it. Its size, its unusual build, and its appearance must have justified why the anglers were so hell-bent on catching it. It was no ordinary fish, but the monster Goonch Catfish, which is also known as the Devil Catfish. And, well, it rightfully fits with its strength and size. Cow of the Sea Encounter This girl was just swimming around in the water, having a great time. But it didn't last long, as there was something else in the water very near to her. Something that was downright scary. Her family warned her about the threat lurking around in the water near her, and freaked her out badly. She started swimming faster to save her life. And, well, she was filming the whole scene, too. I mean, this was something to be filmed on camera, even if it was scary. It was a once-in-a-lifetime kind of a moment. And there, the cow of the sea, a huge manatee that was hunting her, came so near to her that she almost passed out in horror. Thankfully, the fish didn't harm her and left her alone after a while. Giant Arapaima Gigas This angler's fish hook caught something that was way too big for its capability. And don't even talk about the boat they were floating on, as that thing could flip any moment considering the weight of that fish. It was all the exceptional skills of the angler, who managed to reel the monstrous Arapaima in with that fishing rod. Just look at this huge size. It was thrice the size of a regular fish of the species. And that explains why it was so hard for the two men to restrain it. Think about three times the size of the one that hit me. <sighs> Sent me flying. However, after a while of struggle, it got out of their hold and went back into the water. Crabs crossing roads. Millions of red crabs migrate across Christmas Island every year at the start of the rainy season. And during that time, the roads in Australia are blocked to ensure safe journey for the red crab community. This is the season for the crabs to mate and spawn, and for that, they move towards the Indian Ocean. The male crab tries to defend as many burrows as possible, which help them attract females. And after, once they're done mating, male crabs go for one last dip in the ocean before heading back home to the forest. Baby Deer Rescued a dog had frightened a baby deer so severely that she leapt into the water to escape, finding herself stranded in the middle of the river with no clear path back to land. Her predicament changed for the better when a compassionate man arrived in his boat to rescue the distressed deer and bring her safely to the shore. The young deer was in a state of extreme fear and exhaustion after her prolonged swim, leaving her unable to stand and trembling uncontrollably. The kind-hearted individual who came to her aid not only saved her from this perilous situation, but also ensured that she would receive the necessary care and support for her recovery and well-being. Dolphin Stuck on a Riverbank a group of kayakers were peacefully paddling down the river when they made an unexpected discovery. A dolphin entangled in a mass of seaweed along the riverbank. Despite being obscured by the seaweed, the dolphin's distressing grunts were unmistakable. One of the compassionate kayakers stepped forward, employing their kayak paddle to assist the struggling dolphin. With their efforts, they managed to clear a path for the dolphin, allowing it to swim freely in the clear water once more. As a heartwarming sight, the once-trapped dolphin joyfully swam away, undoubtedly on its way to reunite with its family. Crocodiles eating crocodile. In case you want an estimate of how wild crocodiles actually are, this video from Florida will give you a good idea. I'm not sure what happened between them and why they did that, but all of these crocs cornered one and started to feast on their own kite. Oh. 
I mean, that's even beyond barbaric. I wonder if they just wanted to taste their own flesh, or was there any shortage of prey that they had to make dinner out of their own family member? Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Half-eaten fish. Fish can stand any major injuries and live with them for a long, long time. Take this fish for instance. Scuba divers found this fish twice in two months back in 2020 off the coast of Sharp Island in Hong Kong. With the same unhealed wound that was so huge that it had almost cut it in half. The fish looked gloomy and was swimming around like a zombie. Its wound was infected badly, and the first time it swam toward the scuba divers, it only wanted them to rescue it, which is usual for animals when they're in a helplessly miserable state. Many times they turn towards humans for assistance. But when they saw it the second time, the fish was on the verge of losing its life because the wound had gotten worse than it was before. And at that stage, nobody could save its life. Rest in peace, little one. Dolphin attacking swimmers. If it looked to you like the swimmers were there playing with the dolphin and having a great time, look again. This dolphin was extremely possessive about its territory, that it would chase anyone away who swam around there. Look how it's showing extreme tantrums and fin slapping the swimmers that are in its territory. <laughs> if you ever happen to go to the Ireland coast, beware of this one, as it's reportedly responsible for causing multiple injuries to swimmers, and some even ended up in the hospital. The authorities can't do anything about its behavior, as these dolphins are already endangered, and it looks like people will have to look out for themselves. Hippos and Crocodile Rivalry If you want to know about the intensity of hippo and crocodile rivalries, well, this clip from the Serengeti is your answer. I know, you can't even see the crocodile among those vicious hippos. The unfortunate crocodile mistakenly came out in the wrong pool. And hippos, being territorial animals, made it regret it instantly. They kept throwing it around, mauling it, and constantly torturing the crocodile that looked tiny in front of them, that it was hard to even pinpoint. However, it was really lucky of the crocodile that it made it out of there alive, especially when the hippos were not in a mood to let it go. I'm and here's another representation of how much hippos are fond of taking on crocodiles. The crocodiles were spread on the riverbank enjoying a perfect sunbath, and it looked like hippos were not liking the calm crocs. So the most courageous one took it on himself to make room for its kind. And that's pretty much what it did. Unusual fish. This person uploaded a video of this strange-looking sea creature that looked like it had some connection with fish from its appearance. But its bizarre build was creating suspicion, as it could be an alien because the person who caught it hadn't seen it before. When the video went viral, it denied all such speculations, as it was just an oyster toadfish and not an outworldly creature. But don't judge them by their size. This fish is known to be the little demon of the marine world. Bodiless fish. Now, just to clarify, this is a real fish and not a hoax. A man found this fish swimming in the Maldives River, just like any normal day. But what stopped him in his tracks was the fact that this fish had its whole body gone and it was surviving only with its head. Fish don't usually live if their tail is gone, but this one was defying all the odds. As it proved, only a head is enough. I wonder where its food goes. It was still not confirmed what tragedy hit the poor fish that it ended up in such a miserable condition. However, it was later discovered that fish can survive for six months if they lose their bodies in an animal attack or something. And I'd say, what a wondrous creature. Alligator, bird, prey. 
What was just an adventurous trip to the Safari River for this family turned out to be even more than they ever could have imagined. While they were having a surreal moment of being so close to alligators without being their meal. A big one shows up like that, you get, it kind of warned me. That joke could have stuck me right in, man. I didn't see him. Oh, Jesus. The alligator showed them its remarkable hunting technique. For a moment, it looked like the reptile would climb up the tree, but it didn't and managed to catch the bird with a jump. Of course, it wasn't even a mouthful for its huge mouth, but looks like it still wanted it. As an appetizer, perhaps. However, the family there was shocked and didn't appreciate the alligator's display of barbarism. Poor baby. Oh, poor baby. Oh, oh, no. I hate alligators. But I guess they should be thankful that it didn't make a move towards them. Big Catfish Reeled In Here's where passion leads you into the swollen river. The storm had made the river go nuts, but nothing could stop this angler from doing what he was here for. He was out at the river in France in 2017, on a mission with his fishing rod ready to catch something extraordinary. After a long while of great struggle, he successfully reeled in a huge catfish. But what may motivate you to be passionate about the stuff you love is the fact that this man struggled in a storm to catch a catfish and released it right after he was done taking pictures with it. I mean, all of that for just pictures? Hunting Cayman This is Scarface, a walking horror for the Caymans that live in this river. This jaguar is known to be the best and most reckless predator in the land of predators, as none of his aims go in vain. And that keeps the creatures that are living in this water horrified. Whoever comes on the surface of the water risks his own life. Now is the turn of that caiman to become dinner for Scarface. And there he jumped. His one swift attack and the firm teeth hold on the reptile's neck is enough to make all its protests go useless. Big-Eyed Fish The anglers embarked on a 2019 expedition along a California river with high hopes of encountering something otherworldly. However, what they ultimately reeled in wasn't an alien or a mysterious creature. It turned out to be an Atlantic pomfret. The distinguishing feature of this catch lay in its eyes, which appeared oddly positioned, almost as if they were adhering to its head. Look at his eyeball. Look at his eyeball. <laughs> this unusual eye placement was attributed to a rather concerning condition known as barotrauma. This condition occurs when fish are rapidly retrieved from deep waters, causing a sudden change in barometric pressure that forces their eyeballs to protrude from their sockets. Unfortunately, barotrauma is a common consequence of catch-and-release fishing, leading authorities to impose specific depth limits to address this issue. Alligator Jumps on Man Back in 2013, as this group of snorkelers enjoyed themselves by the river in Australia, one of them encountered a heart-stopping moment. Amid their revelry, they failed to notice a well-camouflaged alligator lurking on a nearby rock until it suddenly lunged at a man, catching him completely off guard. Fortunately, luck was on the man's side, as the alligator's attack missed its mark and it plunged into the water. This gave him a precious opportunity to swim away from the imminent danger. However, despite the heart-pounding incident, his fellow snorkelers simply laughed it off. It was indeed a terrifying experience, and the man had narrowly escaped a tragic fate. Bull Shark Near Kayak Ever imagined what it would be like to be this close to a shark with a penchant for hunting people? When that shark encircles your kayak in the Amazon River, where such an encounter is unexpected, the situation can quickly become chaotic. The rarity of encountering sharks in freshwater is considerable, but for bull sharks, the situation is somewhat different. These sharks possess the ability to survive in rivers for extended periods, distinguishing them from other shark species. In the past, bull sharks have even been discovered in the Mississippi River. This particular encounter served as a stark reminder of these facts for the kayakers. 
the lancetfish. It's highly unusual for lancetfish to beach themselves, but an exception was witnessed on the Washington coast. Typically, fish find their way ashore when they face threats from other marine predators or suffer injuries. However, in this case, the lancet fish appeared to have all its limbs intact. Despite efforts by beachgoers to return it to the water, the outcome took a tragic turn. After some time, they discovered the fish's body in pieces. It seemed that the lancet fish had ventured back into the water, only to find itself vulnerable and out of its natural habitat. It's possible that a seagull had seized the opportunity to attack the defenseless fish, ultimately leaving it in such a terrible state. Unusual Massaging Bond The way he was dealing with this apex predator, it looked like the man feared nothing. He was literally treating it like a pet dog, giving it worm treats and getting a foot massage in return. He didn't even give the gator any chance to attack, as he kept toning it down and rubbing his foot against its neck. However, this gator sure realized not to bite the hand that feeds it. Otherwise, these reptiles never leave anything to chance. Either this man was extraordinarily blessed to have such a bond with the alligator, or this gator was his tamed pet, that he was having a foot massage from a gator instead of going to a spa. Rescuing the Cat while fishing in the river, these men found something no one can ever expect in a river. Cats! Two kittens were in need of a rescue, but they couldn't find any kind of help. But when they saw a boat nearby, their hopes rose up and they started swimming toward it. The man who was already shocked to see kittens in the river was more than thrilled to help and rescue them when they approached his boat. They're twins. Later on, he took the twin kitties to the vet, and they were adopted shortly after. Fish playing like dog. Looks like this man didn't have a dog and was assuming the fish to be one, given the way he was treating it. And well, I gotta say, that fish was also good at being a pup. When the man threw a toy in the water, he had trained the fish to bring it back to him, so it did. And just like we play with dogs and pat them with appreciation when they bring us back the objects, he would do that to the fish too. And apparently, that fish liked it. However, this whole interaction was wholesome yet very rare to happen, as it's not every day when a fish acts like a puppy. Walking Fish This is a mudskipper that is a walking example of evolution. This fish learned to walk and breathe out of the water. It developed the ability to drag itself out on land and discovered that it could see and breathe in a dry environment too. This evolution proved to be really beneficial for the mudskippers as they were introduced to more habitats and resources. This fish now lives mostly on land, but it still has to learn to fit in with other land creatures, especially how to outrun their enemies. However, this really doesn't mean that all the marine animals can survive on land, so you don't need to experiment on your goldfish. Otherwise, you're definitely gonna lose that. River Vampires, Lampreys. Don't judge them with their size. Lampreys are one dangerous creature that has put the life of marine animals in grave danger. They are commonly known as vampires of the sea for their nature of sucking fish's blood. They stick their serrated teeth onto the body of a fish and feed on its blood, which affects the fish's reproduction. But mostly, fish that are attacked by lampreys eventually pass away due to loss of blood or due to the infections they catch from the parasite. Lampreys are usually 14 to 24 inches in size that usually tag along with fish the fishermen reel in. But when one fisherman accidentally caught a 24-inch monster lamprey, it challenged all previous discoveries about the creatures. Wild Crocodile Pet All right, here is one interesting interaction. Crocs are one dangerous creature, and the way this one splashed through the water with its huge mouth wide open to lunge toward the meat made the man stumble backwards. Because, you know, you can't really expect good out of this creature. I mean, they can swallow down a fully grown man in one go but he was lucky that he had meat in his hand to offer. And secondly, the croc was his pet. 
he was expecting to cut some slack for his owner, at least. Giant Lobster This fisherman got his hands on an unusually huge lobster in the Gulf of Maine back in 2022. The lobster was easily reeled in because of its weak and relatively small claws. Yeah, they look fine, but even the small lobsters have huge claws. Considering that, this one didn't have the usual size compared to the size of its body. But other than that, the lobster was pretty healthy. Jacob is a fifth generation fisherman and believes his ancestors might also have come across this wondrous creature. So is my grandfather and possibly my great grandfather has also caught it. And he left the lobster back in the water with a treat, thinking his kids might get to see this 100 year old lobster one day too. This picture dates back to 2018, when Thailand witnessed huge destruction on a riverbank in Udon Thani, where sudden destruction across the riverbank caused terror among the people to have them run for their lives. It made others curious as to what was causing it. And when they found out what was creating the havoc, it made them scared witless. It was a huge anaconda that had broken the wooden fences on the riverbank as it was moving towards the forest. Thankfully, it didn't take on the people as they'd already run for their lives. But unfortunately, a deer did become the victim of its brutality. It first wrapped its steely body around the poor animal to suffocate it, and then swallowed it all down till its legs disappeared in its mouth. Crabfish What looked like a normal fish on first look is a hybrid of a crab and a fish. Look at its claws and, well, it's alive out of water, and normal fish can't do that. This video was posted to TikTok and instantly went viral because of its bizarre features. That fish didn't look like a crabfish or a clawfish. It was some weird hybrid of both species, and hence had both of their features. Killer Whale versus Gray Whale Killer whales don't usually attack in groups but this time they were cornering a duo of a mother and baby gray whale in Monterey Bay. You can tell who's gonna win this two against 30 fight. Upon finding the grays without considerable company, the orcas started to close in on them from all sides, leaving no room for an escape. And then the battle started. Well, it wouldn't be right to call it a battle as the grays didn't even get a chance to attack. They could just defend themselves, which they did, until they couldn't anymore. And then, well, you can probably guess what must have happened to that outnumbered duo. Deer in Frozen River This buck was found in a great tragedy that gave him another reason to not like the snow and basically winter. His body was partially stuck in the frozen lake, and despite all his efforts to come out of there, he was unable to. Only his front legs could be of help, but they kept slipping on the ice slap, and he needed human assistance to avoid getting frozen with his surroundings. But then, the police officers came in to help, and they pulled the buck out of the icy lake to save its life. Freshwater Stingray while this stingray might appear ordinary at first, there was something about it that left scientists utterly astonished. Back in 2009, Cambodian fishermen managed to capture a colossal stingray. Wow! Yeah, fly! Okay! Yeah! Boasting an astounding estimated weight of up to 1,000 pounds. Yet, this weight claim stood in stark contrast to the typical size of this freshwater species, which usually tops out at around 70 pounds. The local fisherman's assertion exceeded the usual parameters by a substantial margin. If indeed accurate, it would establish these giant stingrays as the largest freshwater fish of their time, at least until the discovery of another formidable contender. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.